Ever wondered why being the nice guy always seems to land you in the friend zone? It's a common misconception that being overly nice is the surefire way to attract romantic interests. But the reality is often quite different. When you're always bending over backwards to please, it may start to feel inauthentic to the people around you. They may begin to question whether your actions are genuine or just an attempt to win their favor. It's a precarious position that can lead to a lack of genuine connection, as people often sense that the nice guy is trying too hard to please rather than being his authentic self. Remember, authenticity is magnetic. It's what draws people in and helps form strong, deep connections. So being too nice can sometimes be a trap, leaving you stuck in the friend zone rather than creating meaningful romantic relationships. So if being the nice guy isn't the answer, then what is? The real key to attracting others isn't by being overly nice, but by being true to yourself. Now you might be wondering, what does this really mean? Well, it's simple. Authenticity, the act of being genuine and real, is far more attractive than just being nice. You see, anyone can be nice. It's as simple as saying the right words or performing the right actions. But being authentic, that's a whole different ballgame. Authenticity is about having the courage to show your true self, warts and all. It's about being comfortable in your own skin and unafraid to express your thoughts, feelings and beliefs. It's about not pretending to be someone you're not, just to fit in or please others. And believe me, people can tell the difference. When you are authentic, you create deeper and more meaningful connections with others. People are drawn to authenticity because it's real, it's human, and it's rare. In a world where everyone is trying to fit into a mold, being authentic sets you apart. It makes you unique. It makes you, well, you. More than that, being authentic is a sign of self-respect. It shows that you value yourself enough to not compromise your personal values for the sake of pleasing others. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup. If you don't respect and value yourself, how can you expect others to? So how can you be more authentic? Start by understanding who you really are. What are your values? What are your passions? What are your strengths and weaknesses? Once you know these, don't be afraid to express them. Be proud of who you are. Be bold. Be brave. Be you. And remember, authenticity isn't about being perfect. It's about being real. It's about being honest. It's about being you. So don't worry about making mistakes or showing your flaws. Embrace them. They are what make you unique. They are what make you human. They are what make you attractive. Now here's a thought to ponder. What do you think creates a more lasting connection, being overly nice or being authentic? This isn't a rhetorical question, folks. We genuinely want to hear from you. You see, we all navigate the world in our own unique ways. And the beauty of this platform is that it allows us to share those experiences. Maybe you've found that niceness can be a golden ticket in some situations. Or perhaps you've discovered that authenticity, even when it's a bit raw, paves the way for deeper relationships. Both paths have their own merits, and it's fascinating to see how diverse our approaches can be. So, take a moment to reflect. There's no right or wrong answer here. Your insights could be the light bulb moment someone else needs. Your experiences are unique, valid, and important. Drop a comment below and let's get this conversation started. We're excited to read your thoughts and experiences. In conclusion, freeing yourself from the nice guy trap means embracing authenticity. Today we've journeyed through the labyrinth of the nice guy trap, discovering its pitfalls and the power of authenticity. We've learned that authenticity isn't about being rude or dismissive, but about being true to ourselves and our values. It's about not sacrificing our own needs for the sake of others, and understanding that being nice doesn't equate to being a pushover. It's about standing firm in our beliefs, and not letting other people's opinions sway us from our path. So take these insights, apply them in your life, and see the transformation for yourself. And if you know someone who might be in the nice guy trap, share this video. Let's spread the word and help others embrace their authentic selves. If you agree with this video, comment 100 below and share with a friend who might benefit from the content.
we post daily motivation videos so don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified. Your support enables us to produce more content that resonates with you. If you're interested in more videos like this, check out the following playlists and until our next encounter, stay motivated.